Hello, it's Inca, Andrew, and Sean, and welcome to this third episode of Strong Opinions. It's the show where we share and present our very subjective opinions on our favorite foods, and then we defend them to the death. Really, we just wanted a safe place to have a fun but combative experience around food. Sometimes it doesn't feel very safe. Yeah, but it does feel combative. This week's dish is salad. So for this episode, you will have seven minutes to make and present your salad. The non-presenters will then ask you one or two questions about your salad and taste your salad. After everyone has presented, we'll vote on the ultimate winner, and most importantly, that person will get a very special prize and infinite bragging rights. <laughs> Andrew has yet to brag. The winner for the last one was Inca. Yeah. So the first person up is Inca. All right. Yeah. My but turn. You know, anything could happen. It could be a real toss-up. Oh, are we going into puns now? Oh, man. Okay. All right, bye. Let us see what Inca has to offer. Let us see, <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Seven minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make a cucumber salad. And right. I had to look up the definition of a salad, which apparently is as long as it's a mixture of vegetables, raw or cooked, dressed with oil and vinegar or something like that, that counts as a salad. So that's what I'm going to do. I have cucumbers here, and what I'm gonna do is smash them, okay? That's a cool looking cucumber. Thank you, that's an English, why did I say thank you? This is an English cucumber. They're more long and thin. And did you I get it at farmer's market? I did not get it at the farmer's market. I got it at a grocery store. And normally this is where I would get a rolling pin and just bash it, but I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm gonna try and use this instead. And just kind of, I'm sorry. Whose pan is this? Mine. I'm sorry. So using a rolling pin, I feel like is a lot safer. All right, so I smashed it. I'm not supposed to break it apart, but the reason we're smashing it is because it's better for the cucumber to absorb the flavors. At this point, this is where I just split them in half. This is just a dish that I feel like my mom made a lot. I'm not really a salad person, but this is the one dish that like I enjoy eating cold and I can eat a lot of it. We smashed it and I'm just roughly chopping it into kind of bite-sized pieces. I have this bowl here that Andrew's lending me. Thank you, Andrew. Welcome. I'm gonna throw all of the cucumbers in here. And what I'm gonna do is salt them generously. This is just to help draw the water out. I'm actually also gonna add in sugar. So then I'm just grabbing it like so, making sure everything's covered. And then I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. The sauce is pretty simple. Soy sauce, vinegar, oil, uh, sesame oil, garlic, I would use fresh chili, but I forgot to bring my fresh chilies in my rush to get here today. So I have also borrowed some chilies. These pickled chilies that I, I'm curious to know how they would taste, but the idea is like, you know, you want some spice in there. These look good though, I tasted one. They were, they're quite sweet. A little bit, yeah, fruity. Yeah. So the reason I'm heating up the oil is because I'm gonna combine the ginger and the chili flake flakes in here. Sometimes I like to add smashed garlic cloves in there as well. It's just like smashing everything. It's a very violent salad dish. Two minutes. Two minutes! All right, well. Chop, 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 chop. Heat, 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 heat. All right, so then now we should get a... Woo. Yeah, you hear that? And then this is where I would add in the soy sauce. Is that a good black vinegar? This is actually called Wu Tzu. It's like a Taiwanese vinegar that's a little more like Worcestershire sauce, like light Worcestershire, um, which is why I'm adding a little bit more of that. 30 seconds. Holy freaking All right, so none of the water has been drawn out. Great. It'll just be really crispy. Mm. Mm. Five dope. seconds, four. All right, I'll go in all in. All right. And that's it, this is my salad, it's done. The sugar didn't have enough time to set in the cucumber. It's fun, you picked the recipe. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not my fault, okay? Okay? What? <laughs> done! It's very smashed. Okay, nice. Get a smashed piece. <sighs> I was worried about the amount of sugar you were putting on this. The sugar works well though, right? With the, the vinegar and the soy. I'm trying not to start the episode with a compliment, but this is very good. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, mm -hmm. how far in advance would you make this salad? I would probably just give it more pickling time, like 10 to 20 minutes, but it's not by much. So no more than 20 minutes? No more than 20 minutes. 
My chilies really taste good in this salad. Yes, Andrew, thank you for your contribution. Could not have done it without you. My sugar tastes really good in the salad as well. Your sugar also tastes very good in the salad. Thank you. Did you know that the sugar actually helps make it crispier? No, really? It draws out more moisture and it makes it crunchier. That's why we use the sugar. Really? Also, this dish needs sugar for to balance out the vinegar and the soy sauce. It might be more accurate to categorize it as a large format relish. That's a strong opinion. Sean, you're up next. I'm up next. We're gonna chill a little bit on this one because it is a salad after all, and salads are not high stakes endeavors in my mind. What kind of oil is that? Uh, this is a canola oil, like a typical whatever you have around. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making a, what is called a ramen cabbage salad. It is something that is like a potluck staple. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making the dressing and putting in some canola oil. I'm gonna put it some of this sesame seed oil. I got this actually from Toyo, which is that donabe shop that I went to in the donabe video. It's very good. It kind of has almost like a coffee flavor to it. I'm gonna taste that later. Yeah, can I, can I smell it? Yes, you can smell it. And then I am adding uh, one like big part of this is Inca's favorite oh, wow. ingredient, which I'll put in in just a second. Sugar. So we're, we're putting in a, uh, a bunch of sesame seeds. The sesame seeds really help like give it sort of a, a little bit of that like nuttiness and also add a little bit more of a textural element to it. And then we're gonna add the sugar. There is a lot of sugar in this. I like so this presenter good. voice you've adopted. Yes. You know, we're, uh, we're chill. We're, we're, we're gonna take this one easy. That's a lot of, sh that's way more sugar than mine. I'm gonna add the acid. So we're doing rice wine, rice vinegar, not rice wine vinegar. Rice, rice vinegar, vinegar also already has more sugar content. You're roasting somebody else for putting sugar in stuff? Three. When they put more sugar than me, yes. Hello. Yes. And then we're just gonna put like a whole lot of pepper in here. You have four minutes and 23 seconds. Great. One thing about this salad is that it does tend to get a little, it can taste a little bit oily sometimes, but what you're doing is you're typically eating it with a lot of other things. And so it's bouncing things out. It's also like very tart. It's a good side. You could add like red cabbage if you wanted. You could add carrots. Careful. Careful. Please don't slice your finger off. It's a little bit of almost a coleslaw. You have the energy of somebody being held hostage by their salad right now. <laughs> that is kind of the vibe. I will say this is like not a very green cabbage, so it's a little bit weird. Love a weird salad. And then, Here. final thing you're gonna do. You can take that long one. And again, this is just all about textures, Texture. right? You have 40 seconds left. It sort of has that not only crispy like cabbage, but also like the crunchy noodles that are getting okay. a little bit soggy, um, which is for me something I like, that soggy crispy. So it's it's something that's very simple. Soggy it's not crispy, like the most crispy. complex salad in the world, but I think it tastes really good. Sean, your time is up. It's good. It's good. The more that I stare at it, the more that I'm realizing that there were things incorrect about it. It's very sweet, even for me. It's pretty sweet. Yes, this is not the best version of it. But I, I, I think of cabbage as a sweet vegetable. The rice I mean, vinegar was also sweet. It, yeah, its sweetness sweet. is not out of line with how sweet a coleslaw normally is. I like the ramen bits though. The ramen bits are a nice add. Cause you mentioned that this is not like a main salad dish. Mm -hmm. What would you usually serve this with? So like you could serve this with um, like some fried foods. Often there's like a mac salad, like a macaroni salad. Another salad? Yeah. My question is, what is the function of this salad? The function of the salad is to provide some tart and some texture. Did you say heart? Tart. Tart. Oh, I was gonna say. I mean, and heart. I did put my whole heart into this salad, Andrew, just for you. I'm a very texture heavy person, and I like that there's a lot of texture. Yeah, it is 90% texture. Mm. I like when a salad is where you don't have to think about what your next bite is, because all the bites are the same. But you could say that for all salads if you just That's mix it well. That's not true. If you chop it, it's just good. You're still gonna be selecting different things to stab with your fork in some salads. Strong opinion. Oh, so me next? You're next. All right. Zucchini. You might have missed that, but those were zucchini going into boiling water, boiling salted water. <laughs> Today I'm gonna make for you a boiled zucchini and tuna salad. Super fans will recognize that this is a recipe I've made before on the channel in the zucchini episode Super of I Cook a Bunch of Zucchini. This is a tuna salad, but it's not a tuna salad the way that most tuna salads are. Tuna salad is not really a salad. I mean, it's one of those things that is called a salad for some arbitrary reason. Like what's the difference between a tuna salad and a pate? So this is some- Does that disqualify that, him? This is some tuna is so packed in oil but any sort of like more fancy tuna is gonna be suitable for this salad. So no canned tuna? You can use canned tuna, but because this is a salad with so few ingredients, I think using higher quality tuna is going to lend a lot more to your salad. 
I'm just doing it over this for time's sake because I want to get the seeds <clears throat> to not go in there. I'm going to touch my zucchini now and see if they are tender or not. They're not. <laughs> then I'm gonna put some other stuff. It's gonna be the base of the salad, but I may need to add more later. So here's the chilies that I brought for my salad. Yes. These are Calabrian chilies, also packed in oil. The original recipe is from a chef called Lydia Bastianich. Mm -hmm. She was like one of those people who was always on PBS and like cooking shows of my youth. So the original recipe doesn't specify this style of chili, but I think it's nice because it's very like fruity, spicy. But you'll notice that there's no sugar added to the salad. Your the point? The balance of the ingredients being? itself. Time check? 3.38. Oh, I feel like I've learned a lot about the salad so far, but I haven't seen a lot about the salad so far. Here's some capers that I'm going to drain from their liquid and give a quick rinse to, just to get some of this saltiness off of them. What else goes in here? Some black pepper, probably. Some olive oil. Probably gonna end up using more of this lemon juice. <laughs> if I were to pop this in my mouth, I'm trying to decide how I feel about a hot salad. So the zucchini is really just hot enough that by the time it cools down, it will have already woken up all this other stuff that's happening in here. Three, two, one. That's the salad. It smells it like smells, tuna. Yeah, it smells like the name. I am curious because boiled vegetables in a salad is not the first thing I think of. Keep in mind while you're eating that this is fancy tuna. Because you need the tuna to save your salad. Do you tend to like salads that are mushy? It depends on the vegetable. I mean, that's the texture of the flesh of an animal. Do you not have respect for this tuna that gave its life for your sustenance? Andrew, I think you're just grabbing a straw as your... What is the function of the salad? This salad is everything you need in a meal and nothing more. And you can make it in less than 10 minutes. I know I don't normally like wet sandwiches, but I feel like if I had like a harder bread, I would like to have it in it. Like I feel like the like texture would work really. Yeah, because the flavor, surprisingly, it's good. Works. Yeah. When when asked to prepare a salad, yeah. Why did your brain immediately go to this? You have to imagine this. You're. It's the summer. It's hot. You don't want to do a lot of cooking. This like puts together a quick little meal. So we just did our voting. We had Inka's smash cucumber salad, Sean's cabbage ramen, not slaw, and my boiled zucchini tuna salad. As always, each person has one vote, but you cannot vote for yourself. All right, since I went last last time, I'll go first. I select, as my nomination for winner of the salad video, Inca's smashed cucumber salad. Smashed it, I you, smashed you, it. Yeah, smashed you, it. You, you smashed it. It's a salad that you wanna eat like it's a bowl of candy, in a good way. I thank you. I think, so both of the salads I felt like were not what I expected to eat in a salad, but I felt like I could keep eating both of them. The one I voted for was the one that I felt like I could eat for an even longer time than the other one. Does that make sense? Like both of them I wanted to keep eating more of, but this one was like, oh, I can keep going. And this is Andrew's hot salad. I actually quite liked the flavors. Really? Yes, surprisingly. I don't like wet. -ness in food generally, but for some reason, it worked really well. Thank you. Yeah. It's probably because I'm so good at making it. Oh, okay, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> because the show is like about strong opinions, I wanted to go with the salad that had the strongest perspective. This was something that I that expanded what a salad looks like to me. So Put I chose that to shit go over, with. Man, I'm ready. <laughs> Boom. Not sure if the reasoning makes sense, but sure. I had the opportunity to force two people to eat it, and I took it. That means that, Andrew, you are also the winner of this video super special prize, which is small enough to fit in my pocket. Uh-oh. Congratulations, Andrew. You won the most pricey balsamic Ooh. vinegar I could find. Wow. Wow. So those are our strong opinions on salad. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions on other foods we should duel over in the future, please let us know. I am actually shocked I won. Hot zucchini and jarred tuna. Yeah. How is this happening? <laughs>